back out on my boat and we've got Lee with us, the one from South Wales who took me out. Trying to get him some bass on the surface. He has had one. We're going to try and get him another one. There's actually a bass behind his lure just then. Pause it, that's it, he's on. Hey! <laughs> Hopefully he stays on. But yeah, that's his second bass on a surface lure. It's absolutely amazing. What do you think, Lee? Oh, brilliant. Loving it. <laughs> Look at that. Living the dream. Nice little bass there. I'll let him get this in unhooked. We'll get more casts. I'll try and get myself one. Once he falls in, we'll have a quick look at it. Get the camera off, because I'm dying to cast out. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. And the scenery behind him. It's perfect. Really early morning start. And this video is going to be a mixture of everything. We have bass, bream, probably, hopefully. That's the plan. And see what else we can get. But yeah, it's going to be an amazing day. I'll let him show you the bass. Right there. I'll let him get it back. And we'll get up another drift. Well, we're out here now, we're anchored up, fishing for bream. Um, we're using a mixture of baits. I'll be going through that as we do the video. Lee's dropping down right now, so fingers crossed he gets one up. We anchored a spot earlier, we had quite a lot of bream, but we've moved. So, this spot where we are now should be bigger bream. Should be, but we'll see what happens through the day. Going to be showing you tips, tricks, rigs, baits, all that sort of stuff. Show you how we fish for the bream. And hopefully we have a really good day. He's just pulled up a cuckoo wrasse. It's a female one, this is, look. Beautiful fish. And on the other hook, he's got a bream dangling there, which is about to return now. Is that fish on? Yep. What have we got here? Yeah, under the rass. A little ballon rass, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of species where we're fishing, a hell of a lot. There's a little ballon there, as you can see. We've got a female cuckoo, bream so far, so yeah, we'll keep on with it now. Well, I'm going to show you the bream rig I'm using. I call it a bream rig, but really it's a two hook pattern oster. What I've got here is just simple two snoods. Snoods are probably eight inches long. I add orange and white beads to mine. Just a, long, a thing from years ago with me and Mark. I had orange, orange and white beads on one day. He had different colour and I outfished him. We swapped rods and he started outfishing me. So we decided the orange and white are better. My belief, it's just fisherman's belief as you get, it imitates more of a cockle sort of colour. And that's the baits that we use for him. Might be a lot of crap, might not be true, but orange and white does seem to fish better generally. So, I'll bait this up now, I'll show you how I'm baiting up. And we'll get down and try and catch a fish. And over my left shoulder while I'm trying to concentrate really hard and be professional for you lot, <laughs> Lee's catching fish and getting snagged. <laughs> Lee is the one from South Wales, I went fishing with him on his boat. We had that Ray Day and the uh, Smooth Hound Day, if you remember. What I've done, I might do a video on it. I've been down the beach, collected a load of cockles. I've cooked them up. And that's the bait we're using. So I collected loads of cockles, cooked them up at home, and I froze them in little 100 gram bags. And he's just pulled up a pouting and a little pork cod, is he? Pork cod, yeah. Yeah, so hook in these. You can hook them however you like. Generally, I go through the top there by the yellow bit, curl it through, and I try and go through again if the cockle's big enough. And that's it. Single cockle bait, just like that. Beads above it. We'll drop down now, hopefully get you the bite and the fish on camera. Right, what I'm gonna do now is drop down. As you can see there, six ounce lead and that bream rig we was talking about. Drop it straight to the bottom. This is in real time. See if we can get a fish pretty quick or see if we have to wait. There we go, I've got a bite already. That feels like bream. 
We'll see now when we get it, start getting it higher up. Yeah, that's definitely bream. When you're fishing for the bream, you don't really want to be striking into the into them really hard. Look, you can lift into them or just wind. Look at the fight on that. Eight pound class rod, it's absolutely perfect. It's not a too bad size bream either, it's all right. As you can see there, look. Nice bream. And you can see how effective it can be with these rigs and that cockle bait in the right spots. Obviously, you can't just drop down anywhere. But there we go, look. Cockle, the beads, there's the bream. Absolutely perfect. Leads into a bream by the looks of it, so I'm going to get back down there. Better stand fishing, eh? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, that's right. Oh no, I've in on that. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it bounce. It's a bad rod for the money, is it? Lovely. It's a nice rod, yeah. For the money. It's good for this. Yeah. Look at that, that's wicked. Oh, that's, oh, I actually think this fishing spot seems better than that one. <laughs> Doesn't it? Rass is quite chunky. I know it's a small rass, but yeah, bigger than the others we were getting. With your luck, Lisa's brought up a ballam rass and also a little poor cod. We'll get these unhooked and chuck them back. We don't want to kill them. So yeah, beautiful little fish. Look, we'll get these back. I'm going to show you another bait that we use. Really, really effective. What we've got here is ragworm threaded onto a baiting needle. Look, there's a few sections. Smaller worm. We've got one, two, three, four. So in the top of the baiting needle is a little hole. So what I'm going to do, uh, these are semi-circle koiki hooks, size one. They're offset as well if you look. Them brilliant little hooks for this. Hook it into the top, just like that. Pull it tight, so you get your line there. Pull it down tight, you get to see the baiting needle bend a little bit. And then slide it up and round look. As long as it's tight, it's simple. So we've got that bait on. What I'm going to do is tip this with cockle. So we get the cockle on again, same as earlier. Hook through and hook back through. Pull the ragworm down over the eye of the hook and slide my beads down. And that's the bait there, look. It's a little neat bait and it's wicked. It's very, very effective. To be fair with the bream fishing, you can get away with just squid and mackerel. You will catch them on that, no problem at all. But I like to use cockle. I collected them for free. Well, that's a lie. My wife and kids collected them for me <laughs> when I was out there pumping lugworm, which is really good of them. But yeah, I just like them. It's an easy, clean bait to use. Ragworm's not so clean, but the cockle, you can't beat that. It's just brilliant. And you get to eat a few as well after you collected them. So I'm gonna do the same again. Cockle and rag on the other hook. And we'll get this drop down now. I'll try and show you what we're looking for with a bite. Get this down to the bottom now. It's quite a deep mark this one is. Well, let's just hit the bottom now. Keep it on the bottom, keep a bit of tension there. There we go, look, rod rattling. So the rod tip bouncing, hopefully there. Just like that. What I'll do now is get ready to lift into it. There we go, rattling again. There we go. That one, I lifted and wound at the same time. That is all you need to do. You don't want to be striking with bream. Fishing. They don't have fight for little things. Look at that there. Stunning bream. And you can see how quick that happened. It don't always happen this fast, but today we're having a good day. But yeah, rag, cockle, it's a, a wicked bait for them. And there we go. Nice little bream there, look. Absolutely stunning fish. You've got little teeth inside here. I'm trying to watch my fingers. Very, very little teeth. I don't know if you'll see them. 
covered in spikes up the top, right here, like pins they are. You will get spiked by them, so be careful. The best way to hold them is the way I'm holding this. Hand underneath and around the top of its gill plates. Don't squeeze it to death, but you can hold it. But there you go, beautiful. Let's get it back. And Lee just landed one now as I'm talking to you. Bream coming in everywhere, <laughs> it's wicked. <laughs> Just had a really nice little cuckoo ras. Look at that. This is a male cuckoo ras. The females look a bit more pinky orange, but these are more colourful. This one's a bit dull, to be fair. But yeah, let's get it back. Fish, yeah, I think so. Bream coming up now. Fish on. Yeah, with the bream fight, it's a bit like a mackerel, but I suppose it's a little bit more powerful. And it has like yeah. powerful lunges. Like that. <laughs> Are you them now? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this one's going like mad. <laughs> that's a nice one, that's why. Nice, nice ish. Cool. There you go, look. Cockle did the trick again. Nice bream, that is. I'm gonna keep a couple for the plate. I might do a bream catch and cook as well. Ow, it's spiky, you gotta be careful. You got a spike down here. I'll try and show you, close up. You got a spike right down here. So you be careful of that one, and obviously the ones up here, which I said earlier. But yeah, I might do a bream catch and cook with these. I haven't got a bream catch and cook on the channel. What's mad with these fins at the top, when they drop, there's like a channel they drop into, they disappear. But, yeah, it's crazy. Gonna be heading back towards home now. We're finished with the bream fishing and the species fishing.